something that's floated around and i mean i hate talking about this person because i love her so much i believe Nicki minaj is the best female rapper hands down still now her pen game's immaculate she has hit songs she has a pen i mean i don't know what his face is over there he making mean because Nicki is like one of those people she is one of those people uh so, I mean, it sucks anytime I got to come across a story with Nikki, but apparently her and her husband is being sued for uh, harassing his sexual assault victim. Uh, Kenneth Petty, back in the day, he caught a sexual assault, a sexual assault charge. Uh, won't bring up the victim's name because usually that's not necessary to bring in the victim's name for us to know what's going on. But to put it in context, it, it's not looking good. It's looking like they were uh, trying to pay the girl to uh, drop her statement. Uh they wanted her to uh, recant that for the money. She said no. And after that, she said she started getting harassing calls and text messages and things like that. Uh, that's a bad situation for Nikki name to be brought up in. Again, I love Nikki. I love her. I, will, I mean, I'm a musician. I would love to do a song with Nikki, but that is a crazy situation. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw the ball to you. Let me, let me get your opinion on the situation. How do you feel? This going to play out What's the dynamics of it How should Nikki be perceived From all of this Well I mean Honestly It kind of matches up What people say About her personality anyway That she a bitch So To keep it a hundred It sounds about true to me Like I can believe that her Well I'm not going to say her I can believe that she Did all these things And then knowing who her husband is I can believe that, too. I mean, you just got to look at it. When she came out and said that, you know, she was dating him and that they got married and all this stuff, you know how much flack she received? It was a lot. Because people brought up, it brought up this same it situation. It was definitely a lot of flack. I mean, it's even uh, yeah. joking memes running around that uh, Nikki had to settle. Because, I mean, the dynamics of relationships yeah. and things, the way those are... Uh, I mean, the situation kind of read his head when it popped back up when he didn't uh, register as a, um, what, what's the correct term for it? As a, uh, I don't want to call him a predator because I, I mean, predator is kind of hot. Sex yeah, offender. he forgot to register as a sex offender mm -hmm. in uh, LA and it came to Red's head against her in that situation when it bounced back and they were like, hey, your husband forgot to do this. You tried to bring him into an event that kids were going to be around. And that's when the problem started to, you know, really occur that people really, really were like, hey, look, Nikki, why would this be your husband? But they knew each other for their whole childhoods and things like that. Apparently, they grew up with each other. So she probably knows him more than the general public knows him. And her perception and opinion of, of him may be different than a lot of people. Again, we weren't in the room with any crime. We're usually not there when crimes take place. We go on... Uh, what uh happens in court what's in the court records and from the court mm -hmm. records it don't look good but of course nikki may know something we don't but it also doesn't look good that her brother also has uh is the sex he definitely, now the brother was a wild character based on the stories and things he went to jail for and of course nikki i she should defend her brother in that situation it's tough it's family no i'm sorry I'm sorry, you can't you can't Even, do it. With with the with the popularity that you have and that you consider a role model or you know, an inspiration to young females for your brother to have done the things that he's done, it's like it's okay to support him behind the scenes, but to publicly support him. When you probably know he's guilty, you know he's guilty. It's like that's a red flag right there. Like I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I mean, you know? but uh, it's also hard, kind of just labeling somebody automatically guilty when we know. Uh, as soon as you're accused of a crime, it doesn't mean you automatically did it. That that's truth. You have to be proven to commit a crime. So if somebody accuses you of something. You should receive the benefit of doubt. Anybody can make up any accusation at any time, and that shouldn't decimate your character because somebody accused you of something. It has to be proven. I don't know. 
I heard it was mad proof. Yeah, in court they it. found the mad proof, but <laughs> at, in Nikki's situation, yeah, before you see right, the proof, right. you have to take an accountability mm-hmm. that this could be a lie. So I also That's understand true. that. I, I, I also true. understand that after you know he's done it, then you know you separate yourself away mm-hmm. from that situation. But beforehand, it's kind of tough just automatically dropping anybody because of an accusation because there's no way to know whether you truly did it or not because of an accusation. We need to see some facts. And they found... Yeah, but I wasn't I wasn't saying drop them. I'm just saying just based off of the offense... You know, and based off of who you are, you know, it's okay to support from the background, but to openly say, oh, I'm supporting my brother, this, that, blah, no, because it's still going to look bad on you, especially if it comes out that they're guilty. I mean, he definitely looks bad in that instance. He definitely does. Uh, But again, I mean... If it comes out that, I mean, it did come out that he was found guilty for those charges. So I, I see how we can look mm-hmm. at it from that lens. But if it have come out and was found not guilty of those charges, then again, she would have just been in the right for defending her brother and supporting him. So I can understand that lens as well. It just sucks that it looks like he did it. He looked like he was the uh, yeah. a creep. The worst kind. <laughs> the worst kind. But I mean... Worst kind. Do you think this will alter any of her public perception she has now? I'm sorry, but I believe her public perception is already altered. Like, I think, just like I mentioned earlier, it's been known for, a like, it's so many things that people have said about Nikki, how she tried to, you know, hold younger female artists down, or try to blackball people, or that she just a bitch, or you know she just you know she just does a lot but of is, things. But is it also you know not true saying? that most artists who have a position of power leverage their power to their advantage? So is yeah, it is it ultimately? But that makes them. But a is bitch it too. in what ways? I mean, if you have power and leverage, people using it all fields. Should you not leverage yeah, your success for is, your benefit? Yeah, but at the end of the day, it's like, just because you have um, power and leverage don't mean that you can hold another person down. Because if you good at if you good at what you do, as you self-proclaim or, or as other say about you, it don't matter who comes up next. If you the if you call yourself the queen. Who cares who the princess? I mean, but from that same context, I hate to bring sports into it, but I mean, look at LeBron James. He leverages every ounce of power he has to create his legacy. And we have yeah, and we have but countless. He doesn't, hold, he doesn't hold nobody back though. Uh if you water down the competition, you kind of hold other people back. If you continuously try to take away I the mean, competition. I mean, honestly. It's what thirty teams in the NBA, right? Correct. It's fifteen. It's it's fifteen players Correct. to a roster. It's over four hundred and thirty players mm-hmm. in the NBA. Trust me, it's enough players to go around because you can't get all. You can't get the top fifteen okay, players. But on can one we team. can we be honest? There's only ten mm-hmm. players who make enough effect for players you build around in the league at almost any given time. Is that is that true or Again, false? Is so that true that, or false? And people true. who tend to be that's in those true. top ten positions leverage their power, mm-hmm. especially after the age of LeBron, to try to maximize their legacies. Is that true or false? So that's again, true. if people in power it, using their power to cement their legacy, can we just completely throw Nikki under the bus? Look, here ho for that too. At the end of the day, he'll hold for that one too. So, so is the rant. So is Kawhi. All them hoes. It don't matter. Kawhi's situation was a little different, though. No, he held the Clippers ransom. So it's like, what? What did he do? Actually, I think he was worse than LeBron. Mm. LeBron they hold no team ransom. Kawhi held the team LeBron, ransom, and did kill their whole future. I mean, LeBron kind of, you know. Finessed a lot of places. 
Yeah, but he ain't hold nobody ransom. Huh? LeBron, LeBron never said, I'm not going to come to you if you don't get this person. He usually comes to the team and say, all right, we need to get this person. Kawhi said, look, if you don't, if, if you don't get this person, I'm going to the Lakers. But he also went to uh, back to the Cavs under the premise of them trading Andrew Wiggins for Kevin Love. So that's the same thing. Yeah, but that's 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 not. I mean, it's not like Kevin Love was a top twenty player. Let's be honest; he wasn't a top twenty player at that time. He was. What do you? His numbers put him in. No, he was not. Ho, no ho, ho, top. Ho, ho, ho. I don't care if he averaged twenty. He he might have had. He might have did a a a. a uh, uh, a usual twenty, which 20, a lot of people did no not do. At Kevin Love, a lot of people could not. But do. no one looked at Kevin Love as no top twenty player. He's top five at his position at that time. That, yeah, but no one knew because no one watched the games. Absence of information doesn't mean something's not happening. Just because you don't, just because you lack the Look. information of what somebody's doing or something that's available, doesn't mean it's not there. Now you're pen. Now no, you're I'm penalizing sorry. somebody I'm because the lack of information other people have. <laughs> I'm sorry. When Kevin Garnett was on the losing Minnesota Timberwolves, you knew who That's Kevin, Garnett Kevin Garnett was. Kevin Garnett was also Kevin Garnett is, is way better than Kevin Love though. You're comparing you're comparing but, one of the listen, greatest power forwards listen, ever to a really good power forward. That's a, you can't do that. Yeah, but but what I'm saying is, even though the Timberwolves was losing with Kevin Garnett. Kevin Garnett stellar play, who was a top well, at that time, because it was more competition then. I would say top 10 player at that time. You knew who he was. You said Kevin Love was a was what? Top five at his top, top five four? at his position when he got top traded five. for. No, for, forget his position. In top, top, top 10 or top 20 all around. I would have to go pull up the list of all the players before they made that trade. But Kevin Love was putting up really great numbers. We're not gonna act. We act he like he won. We we're not gonna act like Kevin Love wasn't doing some amazing shit at one point in time. But again, we got to go to the term empty stats. I mean, yeah, because if you're not elevating somebody, but if you're putting up great numbers and you can be put next to it, not everybody's gonna be Batman. Again, we just acknowledge there's only about 10 Batmans. So even if you're in the top 20, half of those are really good Robins. Not everybody's a Batman. So even if you're in the top 20, top 30, you're usually a Robin. Unless you're in those top 10s that everybody going to build around. Historically speaking, there's only been a couple anomalies. And that's like Detroit in 04. Other than that, you got a top 10 guy on your team carrying everybody else. So, I'm just saying, man, I think Nikki shouldn't be judged on the prospect of her trying to utilize her power to, you know, cement her legacy. Everybody's done it. People uh, people yeah, leverage but... interviews. People leverage uh, accessibility. Politicians mm -hmm. do it. Everybody does it. When you're in a position of power, everybody leverages some of their power to... I just don't think Nikki should be the only one who takes the bash in full leveraging her power. I'm not saying she should take a bashing for it. I'm just saying when the question was, does it put a bad light on her? And I was just saying, even before this, it was a bad light already put on her. So I don't think that this did any well, this might do a little bit more damage due to the allegations, but at the end of the day, I think her light was already dimming out. Mm, I mean, I still say that's a little debatable. Cause I mean every remix that Nikki hops on, she kills. I'm I'm just. Well, I I haven't heard a Nikki verse in a while, so I can't really speak. She's on, on the that. Bia song right now. Bia got the big song that's out right now. It's your boy DJ the Park Boy, and I'm here with a special product for you. I got some Delta Eight weed from JK Distro, and I'm saying it's amazing. It's clean, smokable, and the best part is they deliver it right to your door. Because of the 2018 Farm Bill, it's now legal for them to have Delta 8 weeds sent through the mail. That's right. And if you use promo code FLOSS1, you can get some clean, smokable weed sent to your door direct. 
you have options. You go right there to jkdistro.com. You look at all the strands they have, which is a lot. You can even get you some edibles. You can get you some wine. Anything in between you can think of. You put in promo code FLOSS1, we're going to save you 20%. So go ahead, hop on that now. Make sure it's in the description.